Okay guys, now it's time to get on to the Macari haul. So for this haul, I think my favorite buy has to be this one and the Monster High dolls. So the first one was only $10 and it came with everything back here. So we have this little bathtub, which is so cute. I mean, the little details on it are so realistic. I just love it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this yellowy green color, but we will see. And here is the little toilet. It does have some paint on it, like someone painted on it, but that's okay. It does open. Very, very cute. It's by a company called Kids Craft, I believe. And then it also came with this right here as well, which was a nice addition. Um, and this little jar thing here, or a little vase, does have flowers in it, and it's glass. Um, and then for that $10, I also got this little girl in a little chair. She's so adorable. Like, she even comes with her little shoes. And then this little dentist set. Isn't that cute? It was supposed to come with some little tools, but I guess the seller accidentally didn't add them or something, but that's okay. And then it came with this doll. Now this doll has a lot of glue seepage in her hair. Like it's pretty bad. But I'm going to wash everything up and salvage what I can of this doll. I know the dress underneath looks like it's ripped, but that's okay. Ten bucks. Like, I wasn't going to pass it up for ten bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. And the scale is really good, as you can see with the toilet and stuff. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a little bit better. Um, okay, let me move this out the way. So like I said, $10 for all of this, plus I think $5.99 shipping. And then I got two guys. So I got Ben, and he's in pretty decent shape. Like, he looks pretty much brand new. Other than a couple marks on his face, he does have his belt on there. His shoes, which I was excited that he had his shoes. And he's just a really nice doll. I didn't have any of the Descendants guys, so I wanted to get those. Because I'm going to use them for like Monster High and different, different dolls. I'm going to kind of mix them in. And then we have Carlos, which I think he's missing a jacket. I know he's missing his shoes. Um, but he has the cutest face ever. I don't know why, but these dolls just look more anime to me. And that's why I like them. But I'm hoping they fit in kin clothes because I do want to change up their clothes a little bit. But there's those two. Now those were, I believe, 17 plus shipping. I will put that up on the screen now so I can tell you an exact price. But I still got a good deal on them. Now, I'm going to pause the video really quick and I'm going to show you the Monster High dolls because I'm most excited about them. Okay, so now on to the Monster High dolls. I'm so excited. So these were $20 for the whole lot. So we have a Halloween. Now she's wearing this swimsuit, but it's cut off and it's not even hers, but it's okay. She has on these little balloon shoes and all of the hair on these dolls um, are like very sticky. So I'm hoping I can get them to come clean. I think I can with some goo gone. So I got Helene. I got this Claudine. She has on a little black dress. She actually wasn't supposed to come with hands, but the seller included them anyway. So I really appreciate that. She is very, very dirty. Like her face, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but her face is pretty bad. As you can see there. But that's okay. Like I said, I'm going to fix these guys up. Um, she did not come with shoes, but I was glad she came with those hands. And I will do a before and after once I get them cleaned up. This one's my favorite, I think. Um, she's very pretty. I love the red in her hair. And, of course, she came with an outfit. Probably not the one that goes with her. She does have one of her earrings still in. No shoes, but other than that, she's in good condition. Her hair is very sticky. But that's okay. I think this one is the cutest, though. This is another Halloween. I think that's how you say her name. Um, she has like these little claw hands. She does have a few like little stains and stuff on her, but I think I'll be able to clean her up pretty good as well. And I love her hair. Her hair is actually in the best condition. It does have some staining up there, like something was spilt in her hair. Um, and her shoes are my favorite. I love those platform, um, shoes. 
and they'll go good with like other stuff and then her outfit I'm not sure if that actually goes to her or not but like I said it was $20 so it wasn't a big deal and I'm gonna definitely make them some clothes the main reason I got this lot was for him he is my first guy Munster High doll and I think his name is Clyde, if I'm not mistaken. He is in really good condition, guys. I did take his arm out of the jacket just so that I can see if all of his joints were intact. But he's in really good condition. Um, his joints down here at his legs are a little loose, but he can still hold a pose and everything. He did come with his shoes. I just have them set aside. But there he is. He just set you right there. So here is his shoes. They came with. I don't know if these are actually the shoes that go with this outfit, but he did come with both of his shoes. And then the seller also included a little balloon and then two little shirts. So there's this little pink striped one and then this little, it's kind of sheer, but it's purple and black. So yeah. That is pretty much all I've gotten so far. There is one more Monster High doll coming from the same seller. Um, she's like a mermaid. I'll show it here on the screen. And then also I'm waiting on a LOL set. So I'll show that on the screen as well. But please stay tuned for the end of the video so you can check out some of these things in more detail. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with another video.